<laughs> Dear God, bless the group before us, the families beside us, and the love between us. Amen. Amen. Good. Uh oh. Can you help? <laughs> you got it though, girl. Ow. You got it. You got that? So we are afraid that we're not harm you. Hi guys, good morning. Today is a big day for our family. It is Nora's first day of daycare and I am a whole new level of stress because this is just, this is crazy to me. This like hurts my heart. I've been having bad dreams lately like that she's gonna be taken from me or, or she's separated from me like in my dream that happens. And so I know that's just like my subconscious that's stressed about her going to daycare. So today's the first day and the reason that we're putting Nora in daycare is because I have started a part-time job and this is all like voluntary from me. Like I don't have to work. Jacob's income covers all of our expenses and that's fine. But I guess I can explain like for long term, you guys already know if you watch my other videos, I am an intensive planner like I am always thinking in the future and I'm always trying to be more prepared Jacob and I have really big goals so we need to plan for our bigger goals and even though we could stay doing what we're doing right now if we want to get to our bigger goals sooner which is one moving and moving into like a house that's our house because right now we're renting and number two having baby number two like those things need to be planned for and so even though I don't need to work right now if I were to have a part-time job like I'm doing, it will be easier for us later to move forward with those big goals that we have. So I made the stride. I'm working as a substitute teacher for the district, school district in the town I live in. And I already have done it once. I did it last week. And this week I'm doing it again on Thursday and Friday. Today is just a test run day for Nora. Jacob and I are both off. Neither of us are working. So we'll be here in case something happens or like if she needs help with anything. I don't think that she will because us being there would be anti-productive. Like they need to be able to kind of work through things without us. But ultimately like my motherly side is just like hurting right now. And I feel torn because like the she's going to nap there. And how it works is all the little kids lay on the floor and like, with the lights off on their own separate mat with their blankie in the same room together. And that seems like a joke to me. Like my kid's probably going to wake up and not wake up, but just not go to sleep and run around crazy. And so I'm stressed about all of that. I think about Nora and I's routine and how precious, precious it is to me and how much I value it. And I think like, how can someone else do a better job than I can? And the answer is that I know they can't because no one will love their child as much as their own parents do. And so I just hope that they do their best. Like I imagine them, you know, putting her down for a nap on the little mat with her blankie. And I just hope that she feels loved and comfortable enough to sleep. So, <sighs> so much anxiety today. And I'm just going to be counting down the time, the minutes until we go pick her up. And my heart's like beating really fast. Just kind of like walking you guys through what's happening. I sifted through many daycares in our town. And I went and saw this one in person because on mine, it looked perfect like on paper this place is perfect so i was like okay i have to see for myself i went in and i was hardcore like looking for a reason looking for a red flag like a reason to say no and to back out because deep down part of me really doesn't want to leave nora but i know that it's gonna be really good for us in the future and my job is only part time but so this place gave me no red flags they gave me no reason to say no and i was like almost getting irritated with how great they are so as far as everything goes with their rules and regulations and what they have to offer and what Nora's daily routine looks like, I am i couldn't be happier. We couldn't be more blessed to have a place so near or, yeah, so close by. So we're going to do the test run today and Jacob and I have a full day plan. I'm going to be filming it and like kind of walking you guys through our day. We're, we're actually doing date night during the day today just because... <clears throat> we don't have time later on and since Nora's not going to be with us we might as well and we're also going to go to the gym so I'm going to bring you guys along and hopefully you know I don't cry because I don't have waterproof mascara and I really wish I did today of all days I was going to put um falsies on because of the date night but since we're going to the gym first I'm not going to do that um I need to get my coffee I'm going to go take Nora's pictures in the front like in front of the garage <laughs> Um, 
with her little sign that says Nora's first day of daycare and I'm gonna try not to be super emotional. And I'm packing her bag right now, her little backpack. And it just feels so empty. I have two spare outfits in here. And then I feel like, I feel like she needs more than just outfits. She needs like games and snacks. Like it's, it's taking everything out of me. Do not just put a little granola bar in this front pocket. Babe, can I just put one snack in? Are you excited for your first day? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited? Leave your hair. Leave your hair. It looks so pretty. Leave it. Oh. Aww. Aww, Nora. Can I have that, please? Sure. Thank you. Okay, let's get your backpack. Let's go. Come on, Max. Go on, Max. All right, go get in the car. Nora's been dropped off. That's all. And? Meg is very sad about it. No, I was say, tell him how she did. So far, she seems fine. I mean, I don't know how she did. She, she just, wanted us to come in there with her. She wanted us to come in there because she put her hand towards Meg. They dropped, no, let me tell And him. therefore, the world's over and I can't stop crying. I can't. But she's fine, she'll be alright. No call us if, if anything's wrong. Just a big step for Mama. She'll be okay. We just got back from the gym. We're having our shakes, or I'm about to blend mine. Um, if you didn't see my What I Eat in a Day video, it is a protein smoothie, but it doesn't taste like protein at all, which is what I need because the lime flavor or lemon flavor that's what i need my smoothies to taste like so it's strawberries lime juice um a little bit of truvia for extra sweetness water and ice cubes all blended together and it tastes like strawberry limeade and it's delicious my lips are white so we have decided to be gross and go to sonic I don't want to go to Arby's. I don't like Arby's. You guys remember that commercial? Let's talk about this for a second. There used to be an Arby's commercial where it looked like a rusty puppet was on the screen. Like it was obviously a sock puppet and it was supposed to be resembling some kind of animal and it was like, come to Arby's. And all I could think was like, if that's at Arby's, I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> but naturally, I don't. I'm not crazy about roast beef sandwiches in general. So I think we're gonna go to Sonic so Jacob can get all of his needs met, and then we'll head over to the movies. Free today. Hi, can I get a number two with a uh, medium size with a cherry chocolate Dr Pepper, please? Okay. Did you want the French fries or tater tots? Tots. Tater tots, please. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right, is your order correct on the screen today? Looks like it. Okay, 9.49, I'll have a readout, and if you're gonna pay with the card, you can swipe it, okay? Will do, thank you. Okay, so you have the large half pound beef and cheddar combo with large curly fries with a large cook and a jalapeno roast beef slider, correct? Yep. It's gonna be thirteen seventy eight out the window. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't want to keep going. <laughs> you already got like the biggest option you can get on your meal. So that's only twenty one bucks. Twenty two bucks. We'll just say twenty three just to round up taxes. So that's good. Mhm. Mm wow, that's so small. It was not worth two bucks. But all right. Then. <laughs> Eating. By the way, I don't think I said we're seeing Lego Movie 2 because we're children, I guess. There's nothing else playing. Really nothing else. Um, <laughs> there, actually, we wanted to see Glass, but it doesn't work out in the time frame no. that we want to no. go. It's too long of a movie.
Okay, you guys, we just got home from picking up Nora from daycare. I laid her down for a nap. It's currently 3.35. We picked her up around three o'clock. Um, so I did say this daycare was like perfect, perfection on paper and the walkthrough was great and everything. Um, but when we got there this morning, we kind of like abruptly dropped, abruptly dropped her off and that just made me sad, but I think it was good to like tear off the band-aid. And we went in to pick her up. The kids were currently at like outside time. They were, they have outside time twice a day. And there are two caretakers for every age group and Nora's is still considered part of the ones because she's not yet two. When she's two, she'll be transferred into the little group called the twos, obviously, that makes sense. Um, and they have like a more advanced playground right now. She's the biggest of all the kids in there because all the ones just happen to be like closer to 12 months than 24 months. Anyway, when we went to get her, she was like kind of crying and really attached to one of the daycare people in there. And like I said, there's two and they were two new daycare people. Like the people that we had seen initially in the morning time were gone. I didn't know that they like swapped people halfway through the day and that makes sense because it's a lot of work and I could not imagine doing all of that work for multiple kids for an entire day but um that was just difficult because like when I went to ask them how did she do in the morning time because she spent most of her time there in the morning and you know like how much she ate and if she had how many diaper changes you know what I'm saying stuff like that or even if she napped they didn't really know and um, one of the daycare people in the afternoon I was talking to did get there during nap time and she said when she, she swapped in for the other people, um, Nora was doing good during nap time. Like she was laying on her little mat with her blanket, but she wasn't sleeping, but she did lay there and she was quiet. So it made more sense to me when she told me that why Nora was kind of like whiny and just fussy when we went to pick her up because that's how she gets when she doesn't take a nap. So. That's why when we got home at about 3.30, I guess, maybe 3.25, um, I went and laid her down in her room and she was exhausted. Like she was yawning on the way home and she just was like, mommy, 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 daddy, daddy, daddy. And she was so happy to see us. Like, I don't want her to see me be super emotional when we drop her off or pick her up. So like, I really try to hold it together. Um, but just when we picked her up, I felt so at peace. And I was talking to um, a few different moms on Instagram about this because I'm, I've connected with so many other mom friends or have mom friends on Instagram that really helped me keep my sanity. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know who you are, my mom friends. Thank you for always messaging me and like helping me through these hard times. But it was just, it was more hard for me, I think, um, on her first day than it was for her. And I'm a little nervous for Thursday because of how today went. She'll probably be more apprehensive and be like, I know what's going on here. And I don't want you to leave me with these people I don't really know, you know? My eyes started twitching. Hi, Pookie. I just gave the vlog an update. Yeah. I told them I'm pretty sure you're in here vegetating. <laughs> Because we're old and we can only do a few activities before we get tired out and need to recharge, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's looking at you. You guys, don't be mistaken. Chevy loves Jacob more than me. And she was initially my dog. Because um, I got her before Jacob and I started dating. But she's chosen him over me now. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Come here. Scarf. Oh, she's scarfing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Look at you all set up. I think that she just wants to veg out since she had so much social interaction today. So we just set her up with all of her favorite blankies. I love you, Nora. Come here, baby. Hey. 
Hi. Holy cow, it's huge. Okay guys, sorry I'm such a hot mess. Um, I just got up from my nap because Nora woke up. She didn't sleep that long, but I kind of expected that seeing as it was like a really belated nap. I'm lucky that she slept at all. I went to throw some trash away and there was a package <laughs> at the front door. And this is like a long awaited package. I was told by Jacob's Xbox friend that it was coming in the mail for a while now. And I started to like not believe him because it was just never coming. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this guy who sent us this, I don't even know what it is, this package. His name is Tyler. Jacob and him met on Xbox. He'll correct me if I'm wrong. I'll run this by him. But I guess they met on Xbox Live and they became friends. They formed some kind of bromance and he sent him a birthday gift last August in the Xbox headset, which those of you who play games know that's like not a small thing. That's a big thing. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. What does it smell like? Wood? Wood. Been paint, maybe? This is gorgeous! Oh my What's gosh! Oh, wow. interesting. Why is it Did like it? that? I don't know. That is really cool. Aren't these just majestic? Okay. Let's see this. <gasps> Shoot. Oh. No, he didn't. He just engraved everything! That's the... Awesome. That is so cool. He stained it. I wow. love this. Oh my gosh. Say thank you. Thank you, Tyler. That is so nice. nice. So oh nice my here. gosh. Where are we going to put this? This is okay, so everywhere. nice. Everywhere. Uh -oh. everywhere. <laughs> wow. I love that. Time to redecorate. Yeah. Everybody knows how we are obsessed with like our America decor. I mean, like the flag up there. Yeah, we could hang it over there. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Thank you, Tyler. This is so sweet. I'm going to go ahead and link his business links below this video so you guys can check it out if you want. The personal engravings, whatever you want. Yeah, Maybe personal engravings. A portion of what he does on his account. He also yeah. has an Instagram account. Yeah, I just started following his Instagram account. <laughs> yes, Nora? Is that cool? Yes, it's cool. Yeah. Just look at the quality of this, you guys. This is stained wood. It is so nice. And I love this one. I seriously cannot get enough. Like, this would be really expensive to buy if you saw it at a store. These are going on our nightstands. How cute would that be in our room so they'd be safe away from Nora? We know she'd want to carry them around the house. So, stone, wood, and wood. This is the lighter stain, and then this is the darker stained wood. So, Tyler didn't tell us he was doing any of this. He just sent it to us. Come here, baby. And uh, we actually just talked to him, like, earlier this week about asking him to engrave some stuff for my mother-in-law and for Jacob's best friend for his birthday. So, I'm so excited. Can you say hi? Hi! <laughs> Have a belly button. Okay, thank you, Lindy. Wow. There yeah, it was. All right, well, I'm sure Jacob really wanted to say here was, uh, thank you, Tyler, these items. Oh, is this the same blow? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, thanks. <laughs> Can we do that again? <laughs> thank you, Tyler. Those do not suck.
welcome to my nightstand with my brand new stone engraved coaster. I'm in love with this, you guys. Let me give you a little bit of a nightstand tour. Here we go. I always go to sleep with a glass of water next to me. I have my reusable straw. I'm feeling so trendy lately. And then my phone is plugged in. That's always next to me because my alarm is my phone. The earrings that I wear like most frequently on my little ring dish here. My planner because I like to plan and review what my plans are for the week before bed. These are if I'm on my phone really late or on the computer. They're just anti-blue glasses. I'll link them below because everyone was crazy about them on Instagram. Um, my more frequently used earrings that are in a box Jacob got me as a gift. My picture of Nora and I and my lamp. My nightstand is ready to go. It is all complete and pimped out now. I need to set this up and get it all toasty. So what I do when I'm taking care of my neck and my back in general if I'm sore or if my straight neck's bothering me is I will first um, use heat on my upper back, shoulders, neck, mid back and lower back. Then I will go ahead and do the little neck pump for a few rounds. And then I will ice my back, the heating, or sorry, the ice packs in the freezer. And then after all that is said and done, I will put biofreeze on my neck and shoulders if they're like, if that's like if I'm dying, if they're really sore. And that is the end of it. Sometimes I'll take Tylenol, but that's, that's what getting old looks like, you guys, just so you know. I'm gonna put this on Jacob's nightstand for his water. His phone usually goes right here. All right, I'm getting ready for bed now. I have one of Jacob's t-shirts on. Let me just, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a little TLC on my neck. For those of you who don't know, I have like a straightened cervical spine. I hurt myself somehow, and like we still don't know when that exactly happened, but I'm fixing it. It's getting better. I went to the 99 cent store tonight in my slippers, in my jammies, <laughs> and picked up three pregnancy tests. Not because I necessarily think like I'm pregnant, I just constantly... I'm doubting the IUD, so had to stock up. I know that you guys would like appreciate seeing that realism that is me in that way. And I'm sure other people think the same way. They're like, yeah, I'm on birth control, but is it really working? During the movie, I during our movie today, I thought for sure I was gonna throw up like into the cup that was next to me. So I was like, you know what I don't have any of right now? Spare pregnancy tests. I've probably taken 20 plus pregnancy tests since I had my IUD inserted. And they're all negative. They're always stark white negative, but I just have to like have peace of mind. And if dollar store, if dollar store pregnancy tests are gonna give me peace of mind, you bet I'm gonna do it. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to put one of these in the shower. It's a shower bomb from the Aromatherapy Bath and Body Works line. This was a Christmas gift from my in-laws. I've used it once and I really liked it, but I know I'm going to be in need of some extra energy tomorrow. This is my side of hats because this is my side of the closet. Hello, shoes. Um, and I have a lot, but this one up top in the middle is my Arizona hat. And then this is Jacob's side of hats. He actually has more, but they're just like in his truck and everywhere else. Also, more on the KonMari method. My hangers, although not velvety, are pretty organized. Do you wanna see? It goes, my hangers are white because my color is white and Jacob's color is black. So all of his hangers are black. And then we have these silly miscellaneous ones, but I am not gonna throw those away because we have so many shirts, we need all of the hangers. We may not need all of our shirts, but I'm not going to go through them. No. have my just super cute heating pad. I, yeah, I feel really exposed that I'm about to use this before I go to bed because my muscles are aching right now. And then also on the bed, I laid out 
This is so dorky. After I take off my makeup and wash my face, I put on this acne spot treatment first. Then I put on my Rock Deep Removal Night Cream. It's like to help my wrinkles, especially my little crow's feet, because they're bad. And then I have my Neutrogena Naturals Multivitamin Nourishing Moisturizer. I just read that off of here, but it's basically to keep my skin from getting dry. These are the must-haves for my skin, and they've been working wonders for me. My face is all good and moisturized, and now I'm gonna go, off, go ahead and let this heating pack work its magic right here and probably scroll on Instagram for a little bit until I fall asleep later oh god my face is so red at least it's clean and moisturized I know that for a fact anyways I hope you guys enjoy this vlog I know it was a lot with daycare our cheat meal and the gift we got from homegrown creations like it was a lot to take in for one day so if you guys stuck with it and you made it to this point, congratulations. Feel free to hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, it doesn't matter. Always subscribe, always turn the bell on, and I will see you guys in the next video.